All right, question. You have a catch can installed on your 3.6, correct? I sure hope you do, because today we're going to augment that catch can. And I'll explain to you why after the intro. All right, let's get into a little lesson here. Your positive crankcase ventilation system provides a way for your crankcase vapors to be recycled and reburned so they're not exposed out into the atmosphere. This has been a pollution controlled device for probably over 50 years on American made, American market vehicles. So there's two sides. And now, those of you that have installed the catch can know that the catch can goes on the dirty side. So what, what this does is, all right, hang on a sec here. I'm going to throw, most of you probably don't have the cold air intake I have. So let's just put the stock intake here for comparison's sake. You got your hose that typically goes up here. Oh man, I'm not seeing it now. You know, you got your hose. That draws your fresh air in through your intake. Okay, you can see I got it here. Draws fresh air into your front valve cover. Runs the air through the crankcase and it goes back out the back valve cover. Comes out the valve cover and then goes... Alright, sorry. Camera's not catching. Comes out the PCV valve out of the rear valve cover. Goes back into the intake. So... Now, all of you, most of you that have installed the catch can real or know that uh, you've cut that hose and you've intercepted the vapors going back into the intake manifold. You're routing them through the catch can, so you're catching all the the oil vapor before it can get back into the into the intake. So you're keeping the oil off of the intake valves. Okay, that's basically how the system works. All right, so what happens is. This catch can is going to catch 95% of that unburned oil and prevent it from going to your intake. But what happens when you're under full wide open throttle, full acceleration, this goes under vacuum and it pulls oil vapors back into your intake tube. So today we're going to, like I say, we're going to augment the catch can with a clean side oil separator. So now here's the kit that I got from Elite Engineering, ordered it on Amazon actually, but uh, Elite Engineering has a presence on Amazon. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to replace our oil cap with this right here. This is your, this is the uh, the air oil separator. I don't know if you can look way down in there, there's a filter media. I don't think this is, no this doesn't come apart, but this, this goes in place of your oil cap and then this just snaps in and then we're going to run it i don't know why they include this big hose i don't need it but this hose here is going to run to your intake tube you're going to clamp this on here this is going to go to your intake tube and then you're going to cap off the little fitting that's on your valve cover you're going to completely do away with any of the fresh air entering through the valve cover so this way, when it's under vacuum, it's going to filter everything out right here and just allow clean air back into the intake tube. So, I don't know. This thing came with one clamp, a cap, one little piece of tubing. So I think the, yeah, all right, I'll, we'll, we'll get this on the car. I'll show you what this does. I think what we're going to do... This is just going to go right on that little nipple on the valve cover, and then this is going to attach to the um, hose that connects to your intake. And I think that, yeah, because then that'll adapt it to this. Yep. So, pretty simple. We'll get over to the car here and start. So you're going to see, I have the AF Dynamic cold air intake kit. And I've modified this hose because this is stock. It's all plastic. I had to make a cut and I ran an extra length of 
tubing just to get this to work. But if you got the stock, you're just gonna disconnect it from here and you're gonna reuse this end. So that's what we'll do. We'll get that popped off. I'll get the my old intake out of the way. I was just putting that there for comparison's sake. All right, yeah, I had difficulty getting this on my AF Dynamic because this thing is a little larger than the stock nipple. But you can kind of tell I got some oil on there. Like I was, yeah, it's dripping out of here too. Like I was pulling some oil up through the tube through here. So this, your tube, is going to pull right off of the, the uh, nipple on the valve cover. So that little cap is going to go on here. So um, I was looking at the stock nipple on the air box there. And I think... You can probably just do away with this connector altogether. And I think you can just run that hose right onto here and clamp it, clamp it back here. I think you'll be fine doing that. And you can just do away with this connector altogether. Um, with this AF Dynamic, I have to use this little extension. But that'll be the way I do it here. You probably are not going to need this if you don't have this AF Dynamic kit. Yeah, this fits on there real nice and snug. Probably not even going to have to clamp that down because there's some force needed to put that on there. But I'm thinking if you hook that other hose here, you're going to need a clamp back here to hold it on. Unless you want to try to modify your... I don't... Nah, I don't think that's going to work because this is mold injected molded. Or, I'm sorry, the plastic is molded onto here. But that's kind of what I did to get that AF dynamic. Anyways, besides the point. Okay, so this cap, it should just go right on here. Yeah, it fits right on there. No need for a clamp. Because this is going to, this isn't going to have any pressure. It's not going to eject that off there or anything. That should just go on there. Because you're drawing air this way. Now when we're accelerating under vacuum, we're not pulling anything from the valve cover. So this should be good just being capped just like that. Oh, and uh, let's zoom back out. I have the engine cover off. Pop the oil cap off and save it. So I grabbed the hose. I grabbed the little reducer nipple. I grabbed the the uh, clean side separator. I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna leave the the cover off right now. But uh, this little piece, you're gonna just thread this in, in place your oil cap, and we're gonna. I think this is made for a Camaro, so it faces this way for rear wheel drive. But since I'm front wheel drive transverse, this is gonna be. The logo is going to be cockeyed, which gives a rat's ass. And we're going to try to straighten this hose out because they gave you a lot of hose. And I think I'm going to figure some way to, I don't know, I want to put my engine cover back on. This needs a snake underneath it. I don't know. I might have to do one of these numbers. So I'm going to figure that out. I want to run with my engine cover on here. Most of you don't, and you can just run this straight to the intake. Who effing cares? I'm just going to show you what I did here. I took my little step bit and I drilled a hole. I'm going to have this fish through there, so when this is sitting up here, it'll just take a little dip under here and it'll run under the cover. And then I had... A step ran a step bit right here. I'm just gonna snip that off with my tin snips, just make it a nice opening so the hose can kind of pass through there. It'll be pretty stealth. So I also went ahead and took this little rubber gasket out of there. Cause I think it looks like it still looks like you need to put this on after the cover. Maybe I could I mean if anything I could maybe cut the rest of this out. 
make it so you can just raise and lower the cover and leave this on permanently I don't know might do that yeah that means I got to get a Dremel out I don't know I'll do it some other time so here's where I'm sitting I drilled another hole and I kind of enlarged that into make it more like a slot so it kind of slides in there makes an easy transition now on this end should just be able to cut and splice right there and let's see I'm gonna put this on first make sure I got the cover snapped down good make sure I don't move my camera let's see what we got here okay might need some assistance getting this on I think so from a channel locks this is oh she's in oh never mind I got it in all the way oh there's a little notch that points to the passenger side okay so just put that on there yeah it's a nice nice little transition uh, I think I'm gonna put the clamp on there oh here and then I'll get over here and I will uh, put that little splice there I might cut that back a little bit. I don't want it to kink. But this should be beautiful. So I'm gonna do that. Big break in the story. This little piece came off of the original connector. So I found that I can just jam this hose right on here. I just need to get it up over this little lip right here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There's a lip here. I'm going to get that hose up over that, put a clamp on it. Then I don't have to use this. <laughs> I was trying to make the transition right here. Don't need to use that. So that's good. All right, let's take a look here. I gave it a little bit of slack so I can, you know. There she goes. She exits right here. A little bit of slack and I put a a hose clamp on there and got that on good and snug. She's tucked under here real neat. I got a little bit of excess hose there. Uh, I'm gonna close the hood. I guess that's the most important thing. Let's make sure. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think we'll be okay. I don't think it really sticks up past here. Let's just make sure the hood will shut. Yep, she shuts. Motor's running, listening for leaks. So I should check and see if that plug came off. It shouldn't. Yeah, see now, I put that clamp on here. I think I'm gonna take that off so then I can just easily pop the hose and pop that off when need be. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues of this falling off or blowing off, but. Got the neat little sticker going right there. So there it is. That is how you install a clean side oil air oil separator on your MCE 9th Gen Impala 3.6. Should be similar to any other uh, LFX engine, Camaro. Uh, lacrosse, you know, anything that has this LFX, the 10th gen Impalas have this engine, should be the exact same, except I think the 10th gens have the intake on this side, it's the same principle. So any, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this at all, please give me a thumbs up to support the channel, and uh, comment and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video, later.